at it. Oh, it's so scary. It is so scary. Look at your pretty bandana. <laughs> Look at your pretty bandana. Should we go show grandma? Should we go show grandma? Little baby shark here. Welcome to today's vlog. My name is Julia for those of you who are new here. It is Saturday and this morning I started out my morning with Winnie. We ate, she took a nap, and then I went to spin class at 8 o'clock. It was such a hard class. Loved it though. It was so fun. I grabbed a matcha at Young Blood Coffee. The inside of their store is adorable. I love it. And then I came home and got ready and played with Winnie for a little bit. She just went down for another nap. She's always so tired and so hungry because she's a grown little bean. I'm gonna go to the farmer's market. Uh, we're gonna take some outfit pics. Just have a nice Saturday, enjoy the sunshine. It's finally sunny out. This morning was kind of cloudy, so happy to see it. Wearing my weird green shades, a black romper from Princess Polly, a white purse from Princess Polly, and I'm bringing my little tourist tote in case I buy anything, which who knows if I will or not. I'm definitely gonna get a drink and then maybe something to eat, like lunch or something. Let's go to the farmer's market. I didn't end up buying anything at the farmer's market. We just walked around and went to a couple of boutiques and then now we're gonna go eat at this restaurant called The Tavern. I'm gonna skirt skirt out of here and meet Chaney there. Also, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but we are going to Nashville in like a month. So I'm so excited. I haven't been to Nashville since I like just turned 21. So I'm really excited. If you guys didn't know, I'm 25 now, so anyway. I literally was on the top floor of the parking garage, so it's gonna take me a little bit to get down. Wee! She's working away on her little popsicle. I literally have such a headache, so I'm just gonna lay down for a little bit and see if I can get it to subside. And then we might go play out in the pool if it warms up just a little bit. We bought one of those like plastic pools for her so she can play in that. But I'm gonna let her work away at this and just close my eyes for 10 minutes. <laughs> Hats from Princess Polly. Let's cover up some Target. This is swimsuits from Target. remember what I vlogged since I've been home since the farmer's market and lunch with Cheney but I tried to go swimming or like play in the water with Winnie but she just was totally uninterested so we will try again the pool was like five dollars so if she doesn't like it that's okay but apparently her mom was like obsessed with water so hopefully fingers crossed she will be a water girl also Winnie was playing with the shower curtain earlier so that's why it's tucked in like that I can't remember if I showed you guys I gave her half of one of those yogurt 
Diggs treats. I've talked about them in previous videos, but she loves them. She literally goes bananas when she sees the Diggs toy. So we are sitting outside and just talking. My dad's going to go get me a Diet Coke because I have a horrible headache. So McDonald's Diet Coke always fixes everything. Shorts are from Old Navy. They're like this kind of black tie-dye. And then this tank top is from Athleta. This style is my favorite. I'll link both of them down below if I can find it. But I'm gonna go hang out with them outside and I'll vlog in a little bit. We're going to make an attempt to walk the bobcat. which is really exciting because I'm going to Nashville in less than a month. And that's what this is for. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's literally all beads. I'm obsessed. I'll link this down below if you guys want to get one. But I found it on TikTok and... This is gonna be beautiful. Hey guys, I'm done with work now and I'm waiting for my tattoo removal appointment. It's at 5.30 and it's only 5.03 right now. So I have a little bit to wait. I'm just gonna play on my laptop for a little bit and edit a video. If you guys are in my area and you're looking into tattoo removal, I go to Catalyst. It's $100 for each session and the actual removal process of a tattoo that I have that's about this big takes um, maybe 30 seconds if that. I believe it's the Pico Sure Laser 
and it hurts like a mother. It's worth it for me because I hate the tattoo. People always ask what it means and that is one of my biggest pet peeves when people ask meanings of tattoos. Like it's just nobody's business in my opinion. If somebody wants a tattoo for no reason, so be it. I just don't think asking strangers like what does your tattoo mean? I don't know. That That's just a little pet peeve of mine. Unpopular opinion. Hi, what are you doing? much the last few days because Winnie is teething so bad and you guys probably know how much a teething puppy hurts it's so frustrating because they're just trying to like get that sensation to go away but they use you as a chew toy so of course I've been like watching every possible video and using every possible like chew toy that we have I took a walk at 6 30 this morning and she slept pretty much the entire morning and then i came home for lunch and we played a little bit and then my mom was home in the afternoon so she had another crazy bout <laughs> this afternoon but anyway i wanted to show you guys the package that i got today when i was at work today i got a really exciting fun package from amazon pets they sent over a package for winnie it's one of their Delivering Smiles boxes, and she's so excited. So it says, hi Winnie. We saw that you recently found your forever home, so we wanted to send you some treats and toys so you and your new family can keep celebrating your gotcha day. Cheers, your friends at Amazon, at Amazon Pets. So they gave her some little treats, which she's so excited about. Granola bites with blueberries and peanut butter. Did you like one? Did you like one? Okay, she'll play with that. And then they also gave her this super cute bandana, which she isn't quite used to wearing bandanas yet. So we're working on it, but this will be nicer when she's a little bit bigger. And then they also gave some cute little toys, which these are the three pack mini toy set. And they're the Tropical Rough Punch. So they're little fruity drinks. They're so cute. They also gave her a little ball. Thank you so much to Amazon Pets for sending that over. It was very sweet of them to think of Winnie and I was really excited to see when it came today I wasn't even expecting it she's gonna play for a little bit she played with her Kong for a while that had some frozen treats in it for her also one update I wanted to give you guys right before I got Winnie I was moving out of my apartment and I was moving one of my plants and I saw something scurry around in the pot so basically I had like the nursery pot in a decorative pot and that decorative pot didn't have a drainage hole so I had the nursery pot like stacked up on another pot that was upside down. It doesn't really make sense, but basically it was a pot within a pot and it was a lizard. So there was a tiny baby lizard in the bottom of the pot and we're thinking the mama lizard laid eggs when the plant was either at Home Depot or like en route from Florida, wherever it's from. And then eventually five to seven weeks later, the lizard hatched and now we have a pet lizard. So I gave the lizard to my brother because he's into reptiles and things of that sort. So we now have a brown animal as a pet. Still thriving, like three weeks later, we don't know if it's a male or a female yet because it is really tiny. It's still moving and grooving, it's growing. I'm gonna take her for a walk here shortly after I eat dinner so she can get some of her energy out because she's crazy. are gonna go for a walk. Time for some walkies. <laughs> hey, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. No, no bite. Good girl. I 
It is the following Saturday after I started this vlog. It is the 14th of August. We had kind of an eventful week. So on Monday, I had my tattoo removal appointment. Tuesday, I had a lash bill. On Wednesday night, when he was having like really bad urges to go to the bathroom so she peed seriously like 30 times within an hour time period literally it's so hard to get her to even go to the bathroom as it is because she likes to dilly dally in the yard but she kept squatting every time she would walk a few feet so i instantly knew that something wasn't right with her so i figured it was a uti just because of the urgency so i kind of was doing some googling which i know obviously doesn't like give you all the answers, but I figured she had a UTI. I decided to try and take her into the emergency vet at 10 o'clock at night. And I know it definitely wasn't like an emergency, but being such a small puppy, she's only 10 weeks old, having a strong infection like that with this charge isn't typically normal for a puppy. So I wanted to just get it taken care of as soon as possible, especially because she was definitely experiencing some discomfort and was leaking a lot. I called my vet the next morning and they couldn't get her in until Friday. We had an appointment on Friday anyway for her next round of vaccines. So we waited until Friday. We collected a urine sample on Thursday and then the results are ready for us by Friday morning. Poor little Nugget has a bad infection and she's on two weeks of antibiotics two times a day and it feels so so bad for her. There was literally no signs or symptoms until Wednesday evening when she was having the urgency. I feel so bad for her but she's doing better and we're getting her on the mend so we took her for a walk this morning and now she is taking her second nap of the morning. She's growing. She is almost 14 pounds which last time we were at the vet she was like 11 so she's gaining some weight. She's growing taller and she's literally gonna be so big before i know it i have no plans for today it is going to be like 90 something so i'm gonna edit this video and maybe make something for lunch because it's 11 30 but those are the updates that's why i didn't decide to continue a week in my life vlog because i just didn't feel it was necessary to record when my dog wasn't feeling well i'm gonna get to editing i'll talk to you guys later